What's up YouTube? Just wanted to make another video about uh, HIV and AIDS and I do want to clarify for anyone following me for crypto currency stuff, verge currency, all that I will be getting on back on topic feeling better energetically still uh, got a lot of uh, body weakness so I'll make a new AIDS vlog tomorrow uh, about the new medication I'm on and what my outlook is but I've been eating well and getting around all right so uh but anyway in this video I wanted to make uh some commentary on uh some stigmas but then also just want to provide some general information and promote awareness of uh HIV and prep the drug that stops HIV and uh, I really think that there needs to be more awareness, especially uh, among straight people. Uh, and uh, so, anyways, to start out, uh, uh, basically, I think there's a lot of stigmas associated with HIV and AIDS. So far, I haven't experienced any of those stigmas. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone has judged me doesn't make sense for anyone to judge someone for being sick especially since anyone could get uh, HIV and not know it you could have HIV for 10 years and not know it it only takes one exposure uh, to have it regardless of what the statistics say uh, it only takes one encounter or one exposure and with the opiate epidemic there's dirty needles everywhere you could uh, accidentally step on one and never know uh, for years later so first off if you're ever feeling sick whether cold flu pneumonia uh, uh, bronchitis uh, meningitis thrush um, anything else uh, any type of sickness of uh, fatigue uh, continue tiredness and that sort of thing get tested for HIV immediately I've had symptoms sort of like uh, a lot of those for many years and not until recently was it suggested that I get tested and not until even more recently was I diagnosed uh, and if I would have gotten tested years ago uh, I would have had a much better quality of life I would have a much higher life expectancy at this point uh, and I just want to explain that uh, the HIV virus, it sort of already has a cure. These antiretroviral uh, drugs kill the virus. Uh, but the problem is, is that your immune cells uh, might not ever return to their full levels. You're supposed to have like a thousand uh, T cells in your body uh, per milliliter of blood or whatever like that. I have five. Uh, normal range is between 500 and 1,000. I have five, and that's basically the cells that fight for your immune system. And uh, it, I didn't realize that I had AIDS until my T cell count became uh, so low. It's now five. I was having, I was sick a lot for the past year and a half. I probably noticed after my T cell count went below 200, but when it started reaching near zero i was straight up like basically dying towards the end i believe i had uh meningitis towards the end and i had pneumonia prior to that bronchitis prior to that and uh i was having fatigue problems for years but i was used to it probably was affected for about a decade uh but another thing i wanted to make this video about is uh, while i haven't noticed anyone having stigmas or judgmental stuff about it i i can't imagine uh it is still they're still the prevalent just because statistically a lot of people that are infected with aids are either gay or bisexual men and that makes it very difficult for us straight males who are infected with it i'm a straight male i'm neither uh gay nor bisexual nor c curious uh I'm very secure with my sexuality at this point in my life and know uh, what I want in relationships and that sort of thing. And I'm a single man now with AIDS and HIV, and it's going to be a difficult 
uh, stigma and stereotype for me to get past to try to find a, uh, a straight uh, female partner who uh, wants a committed relationship to me. And I just want to explain uh, why it's so important for HIV awareness in the straight community, both to help eliminate HIV forever, as well as to uh, welcome straight men and women uh, back into the dating scene without being scared of them. Because one, once um, it depends on the person's how much uh, of the virus they have in their body. I have like 800,000 something count of the HIV copies of the virus, so it's gonna take me like six months to get to an undetectable level, uh, which ha means so few copies of the virus that transmission is statistically extremely unlikely where I could basically have unprotected sex with someone with almost zero chance of uh, transmission. And uh, throughout my previous relationship, uh, that person remained negative. There's very low uh, rate of uh, transmission through regular male and female intercourse but either way you want to be safe uh, and it's possible through uh, the HIV patient continuing to take their antiretroviral drug uh, and then it's also now possible for other people to take a, uh, a similar drug uh, meant for people that are HIV negative uh, that prevents the virus from spreading in the body so basically uh, you could have unprotected sex with anybody and you wouldn't uh, contract HIV whether those people are HIV positive or negative or not and it's already well known and well used in the gay community and I think there needs to be more awareness in the straight community about the H getting HIV tested for one is always important uh, and then also about the PrEP drug uh, because I think there's probably been a lot of dudes before the PrEP drug existed uh, that got, uh, that tested positive for HIV and were, uh, ended up, uh, that might not have actually been uh, gay or bisexual that ended up sort of going that route just because they couldn't find a female partner because they were the only people they could find that were HIV positive for other guys. But with the antiretroviral drugs, as well as the availability of PrEP, uh, basically HIV positive people, including AIDS patients such as myself, can safely have sex without the risk of uh, transmission with HIV negative people. And I think that the stigmas and uh, the uh, association with homosexuality uh, is, uh, doesn't that's, is, is sort of going to be ended by this uh, the PrEP drug and hopefully the prevalency of the HIV virus in general uh, and nothing wrong with the, the homosexual community I don't want to say that there's uh, uh, I have no judgment negative towards them but I'm sure that uh, even they can understand the uh, of course they can understand they go through a lot of sorts of judgment unfairly but uh it's uh for aids patients and then hiv positive people like myself both uh straight men and straight women it can be uh confusing uh to talk to people that have a different impression where they just think uh you must be some sort of heroin addict or uh gay person or uh like a, a sexual deviant to have HIV, which is really not the case at all. And my message is just that anyone can have HIV and there needs to be more awareness and more testing. So there's a lot of sick people out there, I'm sure, like myself who has been sick for a long time. I went to the doctor many times. I went last year, got an MRI uh, for the headaches I was having. Uh, may have had meningitis for a long time. Uh, went for bronchitis and all sorts of other stuff. Got many antibiotic prescriptions, and I really uh, didn't figure that I had that many 
high risk exposures in my life and nothing I thought uh, was high risk in recent years. Uh, so I really did not even consider the possibility of it being HIV. I had blood tests for other things in recent years. Uh, and I really assumed that at different times in my life I had already been tested for HIV so I didn't get tested myself. So I recommend to others to get tested and I recommend others educate themselves about what HIV is, uh, get tested and consider taking PrEP. If you are dating people, if you're having unprotected sex with anyone, uh, you probably should be taking PrEP for your own protection uh, because you really do not want to uh, contract HIV and uh, it's like seems so pointless at this point uh, having having AIDS is and then at this severity where my T cell count almost completely depleted the thing about T cells is like I explained is that the HIV virus could be almost eliminated but uh, the um, uh, what's called the your immunity cells that are left over the, your body only produces those cells at a certain rate and it produces less and less of those cells uh, as you get older so I'd be lucky uh, with the current medications to be able to get back up to a T cell count of 300 I'd be very lucky uh, to be able to get back up to that rate and as I said, a normal rate is between 500 and 1,000. And at my current rate of 5 T cells, I basically have no immune system and I have to rely on antibiotics uh, in order to survive at this point. And uh, until I get back up to uh, over 100 T cells, I have a very high risk of uh, developing a, a fatal uh, auxiliary illness that I wouldn't be able to defend against uh, for the time being and then also having this low T cells makes it so uh, my body is very weak and I have extreme muscle weakness and very limited in what I can do at this time both because low immunity and uh, lack of energy and I'm getting better I have a really good appetite I've been able to sleep well so I'm gonna be alright but uh, it's really unnecessary for anyone to have to uh, go through this and uh, just wanted to warn people and try to promote a message uh, of awareness and acceptance uh, among the HIV, uh, not among the HIV community, outside of the HIV community for everyone else who doesn't understand uh, this sort of thing and uh, yeah learn about it so basically I explained it pretty well the HIV virus is basically a virus that replicates and attaches itself uh, to your immune system cells and it disables those cells and it just keeps replicating until you have no more immune system cells left once your immune system cells reach below 200 uh, per milliliter of blood or whatever it's considered AIDS there's not a different virus between HIV and AIDS. It's the same virus. It's just your immune system level is considered AIDS. Once it re reduces below 200, uh, HIV patients have uh, more common in the 200 to 350 T cell range. And uh, if you're in that range, you're still susceptible to certain other uh, illnesses, have a weakened immune system, but you're pretty much able to live a completely normal life and have a completely normal lifespan but when your uh, T cells are completely depleted and you're at a T cell count like mine uh, you're pretty limited and and uh, I don't know I hope there becomes new types of therapies and medical treatments that help uh, boost T cell count artificially and that would be good for anyone uh, not, not just HIV and AIDS patients, you start losing those cells as you get older anyway to be able to extend life if people, uh, if there was ways to get those T cell count much higher for anyone HIV, AIDS patients or not. But just wanted to explain all that 
and that's also the reason why it's important that uh, it's continued to be studied because it's uh, basically figuring out how to fight for the immune system, which is provides medical discoveries and medications that could be beneficial to everyone, not just HIV patients. Uh, but yeah, if you're out there, get tested. If you're having unprotected sex with people, uh, consider taking PrEP. And uh, if you meet someone with HIV or AIDS, don't assume anything about them. Uh, they're probably not a drug addict. They're probably, don't assume their sexual orientation. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry about me. I'm going to be all right. Just wanted to uh, explain how it is. But, you know, peace out. Have a good one. I'm going to be making more reverse currency content, cryptocurrency content soon. More clear headed than I've been in well over a year. Uh, going to be on my game. Going to be on my business game. Making a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to travel probably for another four, five, six months, maybe. It's going to be a while before my T cell counts are back up in like. I need them to be back in the up in the fifty hundred range before I get my energy back and then able to uh, get a lot, get out of this muscle weakness and sort of thing. Looking forward to traveling uh, Europe and getting out to business conferences that sort of thing. Working on a business with Michael to get businesses on Chinese social media and that sort of thing. And then of course next step is VVS stoner coin uh to get that out there launched uh still aiming to have that out there in 2020 again fortunately the next six months for me uh most of my time and energy is going to be towards getting well i've been sleeping like 15 16 hours a day sometimes more uh recently uh and it's just uh not even taking anything to sleep that's just how it is at uh at this stage for me I'm gonna be able to lower my antibiotics next week uh, and we'll focus on trying to keep moving and having energy but it's a setback but uh, gonna be all right though gonna be all right so yeah you know, peace out thank you for watching gonna be well I'm gonna make a lot more money gonna do a lot more traveling gonna have a lot more good content on my twitter page and uh all that good stuff so watch out for me